Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will create a Next.js project and I'll explain to you the folder structure of a basic Next.js project. And we'll also see how to create pages in a Next.js project and uh, we'll also take a look at some other basics of Next.js. So let's get started. Now here I have created a folder called Next.js project and I just opened it with VS Code. Now you have to go over here to the terminal so you can just go to view and click on terminal. Now here first of all you need to have Node.js installed on your system so you can just type node-v and it should display a version number over here. And if you type npm-v it should display a version number over here as well. Now if you don't have any of these version numbers displayed and if you have any errors then you can just go to the Node.js official website. So this is the website, nodejs.org, and just go to download. Just select the operating system and just click on the download button over here. And then you can just install it just like all the other applications. And once you install Node.js, you will see the version number displayed over here when you type these commands. Right now to create a Next.js project, you have to type this command called npx, create next app at latest. And here you have to add the project name or the folder name but I want to create it inside the same folder so I'll just type dot if you want to add it inside another folder you can just add the folder name over here but I'll just type dot and uh, let's press enter and here we have some options that we need to select so let's select TypeScript let's select ESLint and uh, we'll also use Tailwind CSS instead of plain CSS this is an option to use the SRC directory so you can select any of this I'll just select no and this is the latest way of creating apps using Next.js. So we'll just select App Router and it is recommended. So let's press yes. And even for Turbo Pack, I'll just press yes. And for customizing the import alias, I'll just press no. So now we can see that the Next.js project is being created. And here we can see that we have successfully created the Next.js project. Now to see how this project looks, we can just go ahead and uh, type this command npm run dev and press enter. And here we can see that Next.js project is running on localhost 3000. So let's click on this link. I'll just press command click. And this is our default Next.js homepage design. So that's how we can create a Next.js project. Now if you go back to our folder structure, here we can see that we have all these files over here. Now the majority of our time will be spent inside this app folder where we have, first of all, we have this favicon, which is this icon that we see over here in the tab of the browser. And then we have this globals.css file where we have all the CSS displayed. And then we have this file called page.tsx file where we have all these uh, code. And this is exactly what is displayed over here on the screen. So if I just remove all of this and if I just create a div and I'll just tap hello. And if you go back, we can see that hello is being displayed over here. So this is basically the starting point of our application. And then we have this file called layout.tsx file. So this is basically a file that is used to, first of all, set the font. So here we can see that the font is set in this file. And we can also add the metadata like the title and the description. And then this is where the HTML and the body tags are placed. And we can also add things which are repeated throughout our website like the navbar or the footer. So we can add them over here and it will be displayed on all the pages of our website. And then we have this node modules folder where we have all the dependencies located. And then there is this folder called public where we have all these assets like the images that we use in our website. So all these files will be publicly accessible in our website. So if you just go over here to our website and uh, just add the name of this uh, file. So if I just type next.svg, we can see that that file is being displayed over here. So all these files are public in our website. And then we have this file called git ignore where we can add the folders and files that we want to ignore when we push to a github repository. And then we have a file for the ESLint configuration. So we don't need to make any changes in this. And then we have this uh, next env DTS file. So you don't need to change anything in this as well. And then we have this file called nextconfig.ts. Now this is where we can add the configuration of our Next.js project. So for example, if you want to use image from an external website, you need to add that over here and then we have this packaged log json file so you don't need to touch this and then we have this package.json file so this is where we have the scripts and the dependencies of our website displayed so here we can see we have react and next is 15.4.6 and then we have the script over here so this is a script that we just ran npm run dev 
So it basically starts the Next.js project. And here you can take a look at all the dependencies and the version numbers. And then we have this file called post CSS config MJS. So this is where we are adding the Tailwind CSS. Tailwind CSS is basically an easier way to write CSS. And then we have this file called readme.md. So this is basically a readme file for GitHub. And then we have the TS config file. So this is for TypeScript. You don't need to make any changes in this as well. So we'll be mostly working in this app directory. Now, first of all, let me just show you a simple demo of Tailwind CSS. So let's go to our global.css file and uh, let's remove this style from here. I'll just remove everything and uh, I'll just keep the import of Tailwind CSS. And now if you go back, we can see that we don't have any styles. And if we go back to our page.tsx file and uh, here we need to type class name. Now in HTML, if you remember, we just add class equals, but uh, in a React project, you need to type class name instead of class. And here we can add all the classes. So for example, if you want to increase the size of this uh, hello text, you can just type text hyphen. And here we can see we have all these different options. So here we can see that these are the styles that are going to be added to our element. So I'll just select text 5XL. And if I save this, if you go back to our website, here we can see that our text size has increased. And uh, here let's go ahead and uh, type text center. And now we can see that our text was centered. So in this way, we can add different styles using Tailwind CSS. So now if you want to add padding, you can just type PY for padding top and bottom. And uh, let's type 8. So now we can see we have this padding. All right, now let's go ahead and change this text to welcome. Now let me show you how to create a new page inside Next.js project. So now if you go over here to about, and if I press enter, we can see that we have this 404 page. So to create a new page in Next.js, you can just go over here to the app folder and create a new folder called about, which is the name of the page. And that folder you have to create a new file called page.tsx. And you can just go ahead and copy this code from here and paste it over here and i'll just change the name to about page and here i'll just type about page and now if you go back to our website and if you go to forward slash about and now we can see that about page is displayed over here in the same way we can create another pages over here by just creating a new folder called the page name and creating a new file called page.tsx and paste in the code and we can just change the name I'll just change it to contact page and here I'll just type contact us. Let's go back and let's change to contact. And now we can see that the contact page is being displayed. So this is how easy it is to create a page in Next.js project. So if you go back to the home page, we have welcome displayed over here. Now let me show you how to create a simple navbar over here so that we can go to different pages. So for that, let's create a new folder outside our app folder. So let's go to the root and let's create a new folder called components. And in this, let's create a new file called navbar.tsx. And here I'll just simply type export default function navbar. And here let's type return. And let's return a nav element. And in this, let's add three link tags. Now for the link, you can just use this link tag from next link. So you can just import it over here by import link from next link. And you can use this. So here for the href, I'll just type forward slash and here let's type home i'll just duplicate this two more times and here let's type about and here let's type contact let's change the link to about and contact and now we need to add this navbar to our website so if you go back to our page we cannot see it so if you go to our home page so here this is uh, the home page and i'll just create a new div over here to wrap everything so i'll just cut this and let's type div let's paste it over here and in this div, we can just type less than navbar. And we can see that we have this suggestion. We can import it from at components navbar. So let's click on this and let's close this. And now if you go back, we can see that the navbar is displayed over here. Let's also add some basic styling to the navbar. So here, so let's go ahead and add some classes over here. I'll just type class name flex for display flex. And let's add a gap of eight between the text. And let's also bring it to the center by typing justify center. So this is our navbar. Let's also add some padding. So this is our navbar. And if I click on this about page, we can see that we go to the about page, but the navbar is not displayed over here on the about page. So we can just go ahead and uh, remove the navbar from the home page. So let's cut this. 
and we need to add it to the layout file. So here in the layout file, let's go before the children. So this is basically where all the code of our page is displayed. So before that, let's add the navbar and let's go ahead and import it from components navbar. So here we can see we have imported navbar from components. And now if we go back, we can see that the navbar is displayed over here. And if I go to the about page, we have the about page displayed. We have the contact page displayed. So everything is working all right. You can also create sub pages for your website. So for example, if you want to create dashboard and in that, if you want to create, for example, profile page. So for that, you can just go over here to the app folder. You can just create a new folder called dashboard. In that, you can create a new folder called profile. And in that, you can create a new file called page.tsx. And I'll just copy this and paste it over here. And let's change this to profile page. And here, let's tap profile page. And now we can see that the profile page is displayed over here. So that's basically how you can create nested pages in Next.js. Now, the last thing I'm going to show you is how to create a 404 page. So now if you go to a random page, we can see that we have this default 404 page displayed over here. Let's go back to our uh, app folder and let's create a new file called notfound.tsx. And here we can just go ahead and create our 404 page. So I'll just simply go ahead and type 404 page not found. Now if you go back, now we can see that we have this custom 404 page. So if you go to any random page, we have this custom 404 page displayed over here. So that was basically an introduction to Next.js and how to create a simple project in Next.js. So that's basically it for this video. In the future, we'll be creating a lot of projects using Next.js. And if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.